Hey everyone, it's Tutorials by A here. So, I have not done a video in the longest time and I'm so sorry, I feel like I say this all the time. Every time I try to film, something gets in the way, something's not right, and it's... Ugh. Sorry if I'm like squinting a little bit. I'm sitting kind of in front of the window and the sun is really bright. Anyways, on Instagram I posted a Q&A picture asking you guys to comment questions you had for me and today I will be answering some of them. I'm so sorry if I don't get to yours today. I got over 900 comments which is amazing. You guys are so cool and yeah, there's no way I can answer 900 questions. So anyways, if you didn't get your question in to me, be sure to follow me on Instagram at tutorials by A and you will see when I post my next Q&A picture. So anyways, now without further ado, let's get started. My phone is upside down. Let's get started. So first off, if you didn't know already, I got a puppy and she's not with me right now, but she will be soon because my mom has her. So I will show her on camera when I get her. But um, the first question is, what is her name and why did you name her like that? After we got her from the pet store, I was like, I feel like the name Flora suits her really well because she's so sweet. And Flora in Latin means flower, so she's sweet like flower. And on her collar, she's got this cute little daisy charm, so I thought that was super cute. What is your go-to autumn accessory? Um, okay, so this isn't necessarily specific for autumn. It's just this necklace that I really, really like. It is this statement necklace, and I cannot stop wearing it. I wear it with like every outfit and I've been trying to lay off wearing it because I wore it a lot in the summer. Okay, so next question. Do you see this fuzz? It's all from my rug. Okay, so here's another dog question. What made you think you wanted a dog? So, I mean, I've always wanted a dog. I've always been a dog kind of person. Like when I was little, I used to look on breeding websites and <laughs> see different pictures of Yorkshire Terriers specifically and I think it was just amazing because I am allergic to pet dander so I'm allergic to basically all pets furry and I think feathery also but I'm not sure. I'm very very sensitive to pet dander so I thought that even if I were to get a hypoallergenic dog it wouldn't work out still because I'm just so allergic but I managed to convince my parents that I'd be okay and I actually am. I just have to make sure that I don't touch my face after I play with her and stuff like that and if I do want to touch my face I need to wash my hands first. So I mean it could be a hassle but anyways I wear makeup and stuff so I don't touch my face that much anyways. Okay so uh, this one is from my friend Mitchell and he asks would you rather have a rabbit or a dog and a lot of my friends know that I wanted a rabbit for a while and my snapchat story definitely had I want a bunny written all over it I used to go to the pet stores a lot and pet the bunnies there and play with them even though I am allergic to pet dander I would come home with like runny nose and I'd be sneezing and stuff even just to play with the bunnies for like 10 minutes was so much fun to me and I didn't even play with them I just stood and like try to reach in their cage and like pet them because my arms aren't long enough whether I am or I'm not allergic to pet Dan. I would still get the dog because I mean I love my puppy and she's so cute and also I did a lot of research on rabbits and they're a lot of work. Most embarrassing moment. Oh my gosh I have way too many of these. Um, one time in middle school I went to school with my pants on backwards. <laughs> I guess just middle school in general was not a good time for me. I feel like my hair keeps getting in my face and I keep touching it. It's really annoying. Put your phone on shuffle and whichever song comes on that is our song. Okay. I use Spotify. So here we go. Get my phone. Uh, okay. I don't know if my volume is on. What? Let's try this again. <laughs> I don't know if my volume is on. This could be us. I haven't listened to that song in a long time. <laughs> okay. What case do you currently have on your phone and could you do a what's on my iPhone? Right now I have a spec case on my phone and I got this at, I think I actually got this at Academy Sports on sale and I really needed a new case because my old one was really gross. And as for the what's on my iPhone video, if you guys want one then be sure to leave me a comment below and I will go ahead and do one. What is the cutest moment with your puppy? Um, I'd have to go back and look, but I take a lot of Snapchats of my dog. I know that's probably really annoying, um, and sorry to all my friends on Snapchat for having to look at my dog all day, but I mean, you're welcome. <laughs> Um, by the way, I'm talking about my personal Snapchat. I actually haven't been on my tutorials by a Snapchat in the longest time. You can add me if you want because I get on there every now and then. But most of the time I am logged into my personal Snapchat so all my stuff just goes on to my story on there. Anyways, I will insert a few clips of my puppy doing some cute things, I guess, or some funny things. Yeah. 
Last question. What is your favorite TV show at the moment? So the last TV show that I finished watching was Friends. Most of the time I just have Netflix playing in the background just because I don't like listening to pure silence. I like having something going on. So I usually have Netflix on while I'm doing stuff like cleaning my room, doing chores, or um, playing with my dog. I'll still have Netflix on in the background. Like it's just always there. I finished Friends and I started watching One Tree Hill. I actually watched it before Friends and then I stopped after the first season because I thought it was kind of depressing actually. Actually. but after the first season it got so good and I started up again this weekend and yeah so let me go get my dog so here is my puppy she looks really uncomfortable when she's being held I feel like all dogs look like that but I promise you she's fine look up there she is so anyways this is my puppy she is currently 11 almost 12 weeks old she's a purebred Yorkshire Terrier she's so cute I'm really really excited I've never had a dog before so um, this is a whole new experience for me, and yeah. So anyways, don't forget to give this video a, a big thumbs up. Oh gosh, she's spicy. Okay. And also hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already and would like to see more videos from me. And lastly, find me on all my social media sites that are in the description box down below, like always, especially on Instagram if you'd like to get your question in for my next Q&A video. So anyways, once again, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I look forward to seeing you in my next tutorial. Bye!